Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a hidden secret room. Now what's great about this guys, you've actually seen this design before in the past. I've actually used this for my redstone bunker. Now the beauty about this guys is the fact that you can literally put this anywhere and make it any size you want. And the cool thing also is the fact that there's no buttons or there's no activations that are right in front of you. You really don't see nothing that can indicate to open up this wall or anything to really give it away, which is fantastic. Now to open it, all you have to do is place your redstone torch right down and the walls would open up and your secret room will be exposed for you to go in and do whatever you want. Well, what's beauty about this is the fact that you can put anything you want in there. A room, a storage system, an industrial furnace system. I mean, it's literally sky's the limit to what you want to put in there, which is fantastic. And the cool thing is you could really make this well, the room itself, bigger or smaller. Now, the rest of behind this, guys, is extremely simple. But don't worry, we're going to get into that in a bit. But once you're done with the room, all you have to do is take your torch back and the wall will close immediately. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now, like I said earlier, the rest of behind this is extremely simple. It only takes about two blocks wide of space. And it's a very simple concept, so you don't have to worry about so much lag or too much complication. So these are going to be the base materials you're going to need. You will need a block of your choice, some stairs, sticky pistons, redstone block. You're also going to need some redstone dust, redstone torch, and repeaters, and of course some form of lighting. Now I'm going to show you the one I just made, but like I say, guys, you can make this any size. Now feel free to pause the video before you even start this build. Awesome. Now at this point guys, we're gonna go straight down to the back end here and we're gonna place two blocks right there and pretty much extend that from one end down to the other. Now like I was saying, you place two blocks right there and a block right on top to create this kind of pattern, you see? Now you're going to place one redstone dust there, a repeater right there, on three ticks. Remember guys, three ticks. Then you're going to add 15 pieces of redstone dust from one end down to the other, like so. Then right there, you're going to add some redstone torches, like so, right in front where the redstone dust is at. See? <clears throat> then right on top of it, you're going to add your sticky pistons. Perfect. Now, whatever you're going to use as your wall, you're going to place that right on top, like so, right across. Then you're going to delete from this point one, two, and three, three blocks. And you're going to add a sticky piston right there with a redstone block right there. Now, the reason this works so well is the fact that once you place your redstone torch parallel to the sticky piston, it actually activates it. So we like to call a butt switch. Now at this point you're gonna add some stairs right on top of it, don't block that, and stretch it from one end down to the other. Fantastic. Then we're gonna go straight to the back here in the back end corner. We're gonna add a redstone torch on top of that block, one more block on top of it, another redstone torch on top of that, and then one more block right there, and make sure to add a redstone torch on top of it, and you're going to leave it like so. <clears throat> now you're going to place four blocks going upwards. You're going to delete the first three. And add a sticky piston facing downwards. And you're going to stretch that sticky piston from that point right across parallel to the one underneath. See? Fantastic. Now you're going to take your wall of choice and you're going to put that right across on top like so, okay? That's going to be the ceiling. Let's delete that. Then you're going to add, once again, your side walls. And at this point, we're going to create the framework to the inside room. I know you guys are going to give me the comments like, 
I understand that's a ceiling, so I <laughs> kind of messed that up a little bit. But at this point, guys, just kind of fill this up and make the room as big as you want. So you want to add those little trimmings like so. Now at this point, all you have to do is add one repeater, add your rest on dust right across to activate all the pistons. Then at this point, let's continue off with the ceiling, which I've kind of messed up at one point. And we're just going to add some more trimmings. See? Now let's start focusing on the front end. What we're going to do here, we're going to add some blocks right there across. And we're going to fill in the gap right there as well. Now at this point, what I want you to do is just kind of fix it up and just add some more trimmings and layers to really bring it out. Now to cover up those pistons, what you're going to do is you're going to add some upside down stairs right there and extend that from one end down to the other. Then you're going to add your blocks right on top of it. And at this point, guys, I want you to decorate it and really design it to your own personal style. I mean, you want to really customize this to what you like. And once you're done, you're good to go, guys. The design is complete. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.